Hi and welcome everyone, Friar Tuck here. This is my epoch. We're gonna take a stroll down the trail and we're gonna talk today about how a dollar collapse is going to affect homelessness. If you are already homeless, how is it going to affect you? If you're not homeless, how is the dollar collapse going to uh, affect you? That's what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. So let's just kind of get into the nuts and bolts. How did we get here to begin with? We got here to begin with, not only by poor monetary policy, uh, poor leadership, uh, uh, mismanagement of uh, our finances as a nation, uh, corrupt and greedy politicians. I mean, there's so many different things. I mean, we could go all the way down to the people because who elected these guys? And not only just who elected them, who keeps re-electing them, even though we know how corrupt they are. Okay, and then we wonder why this is happening. So if you're already homeless, how is this going to affect you? Well, um, you should expect that uh, the streets are going to start getting lined with more and more people, uh, even with the uh, post-apocalyptic uh, Grants Pass decision. You, you can't stop what is about to come. And the, the cities, in order to be able to keep order and to be able to keep everything together, kind of have to sweep it under the rug so that they can, you know, get the, the illusion and keep the, the party going. Uh, so that we don't, you know, we don't lose all of society because we're probably going to see anywhere from a 30 to 50, maybe even 70% economic downturn. There will be those that will be able to survive it. The bottom 30% of income earners should be preparing or considering uh, to be homeless because as the dollar collapses, as the money becomes worthless, as it becomes harder to get your basics, you're going to be forced to make decisions and those decisions uh, are, are going to force choices that you don't really have much of a choice in because your choice was already made for you. Look at who, uh, look at who we've put in charge of the most important and crucial part of our society, which is the management of our economy, which plays into crime and uh, and other things, as well as just the overall mood. Because when people are making money, they're happy. They're passive. They're less aggressive. When people don't have money, especially in a consumer-driven society, you should expect things to get a lot more aggressive, a lot more violent. Um, not because people are naturally that way, but because we have been conditioned that, you know, if you want something, you are entitled to instant gratification as an American. And so when you can no longer have that instant gratification, you can no longer have that Coke every time you go into town, you know, which is one of my things. You, know, you can no longer uh, go out to, to afford dinner. You have to choose between between a roof over your head and you know food in your belly. What are you going to choose? Because people are already being forced to make that choice. That's why homelessness has been silently exploding uh, since the pandemic. Uh, you know, a lot of people were affected by the by the lockdowns and the stay in place order or shelter in place order. Um, people lost businesses. People lost jobs, people lost their home, people lost a lot of stuff. And, you know, because it took the government a while to react for it, instead of kind of already having something in place, you know, well, let's say the the uh, renter forbearance, something like that. How many people it took, what, about a month, maybe a couple of weeks before the uh, before the government actually got around to giving some sort of reprieve and creating a law? And how many people did that affect in the interim? Okay. And then as that goes down, you know, it, it's, it's like a, it, it's like a thread in your clothing. You pull on it and it just keeps coming out and coming out and coming out. And so as all this pressure keeps coming down, um, you know, as we're pulling on this thread, eventually there'll be nothing there. And most of society is going to fall off the cliff. So if you're already homeless, you should expect to see more people, you know, lining up next to you. You're going to have more competition for resources. Uh, you are also going to have the ones that are in the know and then the ones that are not. Okay, they will be able to pick out the new homeless and they're not going to share information with them because they want to ensure their own survival. So a lot of your already established homeless are going to start you know, keeping things close to their vests. You know, and so that means that the newly homeless are going to have to struggle a lot more. Uh, they may end up getting churned uh, because they come out with a little bit of money and uh, they're not really paying attention. And, uh, you know, this happens all the time. I've had it happen to me a couple times 
you know, you, you don't mind contributing. The next thing you know, you're the only one contributing. And as soon as you run out of money, you're no longer useful and you get kicked to the curb. Um, it happens to the best of us. Uh, it's not something you can really plan, prepare for, or see coming unless you just completely become 100% antisocial. So, um, this is this is what's going on here. This is what's going on with the with the economy. Everybody's saying economic ninja, it's over. Um, we're just waiting for for it to come home to roost. We were being told uh, quite frequently or we, we've been uh, being told quite frequently by a lot of people that it's just a matter of time before the dollar completely collapses. It's been four years since the, uh, since the pandemic and the ramifications of that. So over the next probably 12 months, we're gonna see a full on, uh, a full on collapse and we're gonna see this thing spiral out of control so quick that uh, it's gonna catch everybody by surprise. Uh, I think it will lead to civil unrest. Uh, I think it will lead to people uh, not being able to keep themselves uh, afloat. I think a lot of people, uh, because they're so indoctrinated in that you need all this stuff in order to live or to be a human being in our society, uh, that they forgot that, that that it takes a human to be a human in a society. The, the goods, the services, and the amenities, those are just creature conveniences things that we've you know pushed ourselves towards uh, over time but it doesn't actually make anything um it, it it doesn't make us who we are it just makes our life easier and so a lot of people are going to experience what uncomfortable means you know and that's the thing about being homeless is you've mastered being miserable you've mastered being uncomfortable you've mastered living on meager means you've mastered you know, how to survive with almost nothing and still be able to find people within society that have enough compassion to help you get to the next day. Because a lot of the times, that's what the, that's what people are about to start expecting. That's what the day-to-day -day reality is going to be because there's not going to be any jobs. There's mass layoffs going on right now. A lot of these jobs that are open, they're ghost jobs. They're not even real jobs. So it gives a false impression that there's plenty of work out there when in reality there isn't. And so what do you do to fill your time? Do you become productive? Do you find a way to get into, let's say, the digital economy? Or do you find a way to get into um, into something else? Okay, so all that has its own, uh, its own thing. And uh, you're gonna have to make your own decisions. But if you are preparing to be homeless and you think you're in the bottom 30% of income earners, uh, well, you know, I'm going to be coming out with a video in the next few days that's going to be showing all of the gear that I use so that you can get an idea of what type of gear bag to get yourself set up for in the event that you do become homeless because uh, those that are prepared will be less miserable than those who are not. And that's really that's really the bottom line. You know, you if you're prepared for what's coming, you're going to be able to deal with it. You're, you're already... Uh, prepared for it mentally, physically, psychologically, uh, and uh, uh, monetarily. So now's the time because you, you've you got maybe a year left until it hits you uh, just because of how long it takes for, you know, the, the chickens to come home to roost. So anyways, guys, you know, to help the channel, become a subscriber, do all that good stuff, become a member over on Patreon or here on YouTube. Uh, or uh, come on over to my GoFundMe and help me move to the next stage of my homelessness, which is living in a van. Thanks for being here. See you in the next video.